With the deposition of Vic Mignogna and Monica Rial now having to be made public by Nick Ricada, I went along ahead to take the time in splicing up a highlight video for you all to observe, in which right now you guys are about to witness both Vic Mignogna and Monica Rial's testimony in court after being deposed, in having to not only speak about one another, but also in reference to their tweets, all forms of allegation, and many other factors that went into this case, as I do want to go in ahead and let you guys know that we are going to be splicing up a part two of this video in a separate highlight package involving not only Vic Mignogna and Monica Rial, but also Ronald Toyes as well. Which by the end of this, I do encourage you guys to drop your thoughts after watching the entire video if you guys have any assertions or judgments of your own based on the depositions that you're about to see, along with also subscribing to this channel and turning on all notifications because we are going to be working around the clock and bringing you guys more news, information, and updates about this case. So again, be sure to go on ahead and subscribe to this channel, give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are in support of Vic Mignogna, follow me on Twitter at Unreal and Gaming, and subscribe to my primary channel at Unreal and Gaming to where there, we're going to be covering lots of alternative content that you guys won't get to find on here, so without wasting any more time, be sure to share this video on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media outlets, and without wasting any more time, here are the depositions of Vic Mignogna and Monica Rial, enjoy. Would you think that calling someone a predator when they've never been convicted of anything is a lie. Objection for I don't know. That film, Dragon Ball Brawly, was the third highest Brawly. grossing anime film in the United States. Does that sound right to you? Were you pretty pleased with that yeah. success level? It was, sorry, mm -hmm. it was a privilege. It, I was really proud to be a part of it. I mean, I played this character for 15 years, and he would be in video games and stuff, and when I would do events, fans would always say, oh, I love Bro, he's my favorite character in Dragon Ball. When are they ever gonna do anything more with him? And I would always say, I don't know, wouldn't that be fun? And then when this movie uh, was announced, you know, I, I, was, I was really excited about it. Mm -hmm. um, that's a big deal, you know, third highest grossing. Uh, and I assume that brings with it a, a pretty significant fan base. Uh, I, I already had, I think uh, they already existed. Um, okay. I, I think, I, I don't, again, I don't do any analytics or uh, count this or that, mm -hmm. but I, I, I think my overall body of work over the years has, you know, has been pretty well received. I believe you said this earlier, but, um, if you had distanced yourself from Vic, why would you have sent the kissy face emoji? Because it's my job to put up appearances and make it appear as though everything is great, but also, like I said in my statement, I made every effort to try and move past that event, thinking it was a one-time thing with me alone. Um, and I wanted to forgive him. I wanted to believe that he was a better person than that. Could you just have said, I had fun. Objection for Yes, but if you look at my Twitter, you'll see that I use emojis all the time. So Shock. it would have been out of character for me not to use an emoji. Oh, yes, I everyone. use hearts constantly. If you turn to page, exhibit eight, page nine. <laughs> so funny to me. What, what, which is funny. I'm reading this. So she has this horrific experience. And then a second situation, she agreed to come by my room briefly. Now, why would she do that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't even, like I said, this is, some of this is still kind of fresh. Yesterday, um, when Ron gave his to his deposition, he had indicated that a lie could be just not telling about something. Do you agree with that? Objection four. To me, a lie is knowingly telling a falsehood. I can't speculate what Ron thinks it is. <laughs> but I have yeah. never encouraged anyone to to do any anything hateful or uh, negative, attacking. Certainly not death threats. And anybody associated with you, do you know uh, if they've encouraged that type of behavior? No, sir. 
I've heard, I've heard people tell that they've received death threats, and I've also heard that every time they're they're put on the spot to produce said death threats, they never do. I, I don't know if that's true or not. So I've I, I've heard the buzz, but I don't really have any personal knowledge. All right. And did you tweet on February 11th, 2019, at 8:09 p.m. that Vic is the legal definition of harassment? That was not my intent. There's a typo. I didn't even realize that I had accidentally said he's the legal definition. I meant to say here's the legal definition of harassment, uh -huh. and I didn't realize it was a typo until I was sent my takedown notices. Did you take if you it down? read the entire thread, you can see that I was being harassed, and so I was trying to explain to children that don't understand what harassment is. Did you take is. it down? Okay. And what is your definition of harassment? Harassment, to me, is is constantly bugging and picking on someone, um, even after they've repeatedly asked you to stop, or I can't answer said questions, or whatever, to the point of being a nuisance or a threat. I didn't want to do this. I sat by for five months and let these people destroy me online. I didn't even know what to do. I, I, I literally did not respond. I did not attack back. I didn't even defend. I just couldn't believe it was happening for five months. And when it got to the point where I had lost so much, I, I realized that the, my only recourse was legal recourse. I wasn't looking for money. I wasn't asking for anything but to be left alone and and to you know to be allowed to to have my career and my work. What, in job. your personal sure. opinion, would it take for Vic to be able to come back to work? Objection four. I believe I stated it in one of my Twitter statements, or I know I've said it on Twitter repeatedly that I've said that if he would apologize and he would seek counseling and seek help, that at that point, then I feel like maybe he, they would consider and lay low for a while, that maybe in the future he would have a path to redemption. The first several for the first bit of time, I can't tell you exactly how much, how much time were rather vague. And uh, that was when I wrote her. As I said, we'd been friends, my understanding, for 20 years. The public apologies, what would those be? Uh, I, I put out a tweet at some point that just basically said, I am extremely sorry for any unintended, certainly unintended offense or, uh, you know, anything that has hurt or offended anyone. Certainly never my intention. And I also uh, apologized publicly um, at an event. And who are you apologizing to? Specifically? Yeah. Anyone who I inadvertently offended. And, and what, what did you think you were apologizing for? Inadvertently offending them. And when you say in the Berkeley opinion, you're talking about giving hugs or kisses and things like that to people that didn't want it. Whatever it was that, that people had a problem with. Do you believe that Vic should lose a 20-year career? Objection four. I believe that actors deserve a safe work environment, and if that has to be the outcome, then yes. I just want to be able to say I ate Monica Real. Again, it was the delivery. It wasn't like he just said it. He actually was touching my face and pulling me towards him when he said it. Did you tell anyone about the jelly bean incident prior to January of 2019? I know that Greg and I had spoken about it once before, just going, oh, you remember that weird thing that happened? Um, but no, I did not. That was not something that I made common knowledge. I had, for the first several months, I found it very difficult to, you know, to really do much of anything. I had, I had offers from people to do certain things, and I, you know, found it very difficult to, to, to get motivated. Did you, did you do those? I didn't sleep. I didn't eat. I was losing weight. Did you do those things you had offers to do? Did you turn them down? I haven't done them. I asked them if I could have some time. And I believe I've, I've looked at a tweet, which we'll get into a little bit later, that, that 
that had your Twitter handle um, that indicated there were dozens of people that came forward. Is that an accurate statement? Objection for over the years, I, I can't, without looking at the tweet, I don't know exactly what I was referring to, but there have been more than just the one investigation by Funimation over the years. There's been quite a few. Are you taking any medication as a result of the defamation that you claim to have suffered? I am taking two medications. One is Losartan for high blood pressure, and one is Zoloft for, I guess it's an antidepressant. And did you take that before these allegations came no, out? No, that started, that started in uh, mid, late January. Okay. Uh, have you been unable to work as a result of any mental issues that you're suffering because of this alleged defamation? Not that somebody's not letting you work, but that you can't get up and go to work. Do you understand the distinction? Uh, the first time I, well, if, I mean, I'm sure you have all reviewed the, the, the tweets and stuff. The first week or or two, uh, Monica made several very vague references online. I have a story. It happened to me, and people would ask, and she she wasn't really very specific for a week or or two. I can't remember. And in your opinion, just your opinion, what would you define a friend to be? A friend is someone who you can trust inherently and. Um, that you enjoy spending time with, and um, depending on the, the 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 amount of friendship, um, can be almost like a family member. And prior to 2007, um, did you consider Vic to be like a family member? Not like a family member. Okay. Well, there's a difference between doing something on a regular basis and no idea where somebody would get that. I mean, have you ever done that? you ever at a convention uh, in front of people, reached your hand up on a woman's hair and pulled her hair, back, her neck head back? No. Okay. Not that I recall. Okay. I had no indication when it happened or in the years that followed that we've been friends and interacted that, I, that there was anything offensive or painful about it. In my mind, my recollection, it was very casual, playful interaction, as happens all the time in the hallways of Funimation. But you would agree that she certainly could have perceived it differently than you? Sure. This issue is exacerbated by his age, as any 56-year-old who spends so much time interacting with young girls on a website without parental supervision and who then embraces and kisses these children at conventions is going to raise eyebrows, even if innocuous. you agree with that statement? No, sir. This is completely inflammatory. You don't think that it's odd that a 56-year-old man embraces and kisses children at a convention is no, sir. going to raise eyebrows? Sorry? It, I mean, what's inflammatory about the statement? If I may. Sure. So much time. Well, how much is that? Who's to determine how much so much time is uh, on a website without parental supervision? The person who wrote this does not know any of that factually. This is meant to inflame. Hold on. Let me please finish. Uh, embraces and kisses children. Yeah, like every other voice actor does in public for photo ops at conventions. It's not seedy and dirty and pervy and the vast majority of the people, many of them that I have met over the years, have no problem whatsoever with it. There is a small contingent that does and I apologized to those people in the tweet where I said I, I accept that I need to be more mindful that not everybody is open to that kind of interaction. Are you familiar with a Twitter kick Vic? I certainly know of it, yes. Do you know uh, when it started? Uh, if memory serves, it started very shortly after uh, January 16th when the, when the uh, first tweets were uh, put, uh, were posted. And do you blame any of the defendants for that uh, uh, Twitter handle starting? I don't know their involvement. Right. Uh, would you agree with me that that Twitter handle has gotten some level of notoriety in, the, in your, your community? Sure. And would you agree with me that that also, also hurt your reputation? Sure. Do you know who, who created the I Stand With Vic Twitter? No, I don't actually.
As I understand it, you're, you may be seeking a million dollars or more in this lawsuit now. Not, not that I'm aware of. Okay. I, I haven't. I have not discussed any numbers of any kind of monetary anything. All right. Uh, do you believe that you've been damaged as a result of the defamation of Mrs. Yes. Let me get the question out. I'm sorry. Right. That's I'm right. so sorry. Uh, sorry. Do you believe that you have been damaged as a result of the defamatory statements that you allege were made by the defendants in this case? Yes. Do you have a? a can you put a monetary value on that? No. What would you need to know to put a monetary value on that? If I may, Sean, let me answer by saying this. I didn't, I didn't want to do this. And what does that appear to be? I honestly am not sure. If, which, is it one of these? I'm not, it's either a blog, book, manga, or about. Okay. Um, what, does the, what is the title saying? It says, Fixing the Staircase, Vic Mignogna's Sexual Assault Allegations, and the Voice Actors Who Speak Out. Okay. Did you provide any information for this article? Not that I'm aware of, no. You idiot, Monica. You idiot. You and Ron are both idiots. The reason you consider them to be infamatory is, defamatory is what? Because they clearly imply that, uh, that I am guilty of harassment, threatening behavior. There's no... There's no proof or evidence of evidence evidence of that. And if I'm if I if I'm not mistaken, Funimation on the phone told me that they were not going to be releasing any public statement. When they terminated me, I should say Sony. In the conversation they called me and terminated me, they said they would not be releasing any public statement. And shortly after, I can't remember a week, two weeks after, maybe a week. They started. Rele they released these tweets publicly. Okay. Were there any other tweets other than these uh, tweets? N not that I'm aware of. Why did you come forward, like in January of this year? Jefferson Do you mean on Twitter? It, on Twitter or with the investigation with Funimation? Jefferson With the investigation, I came forward because, as I said earlier, the twins let me know they needed to talk to me about something and they emailed me their statement and I read it and when I read it I noticed that there were details that were so incredibly similar to what had happened to me that it started to uh, make me wonder if maybe the one-time thing wasn't a one-time thing and maybe I had forgiven him not realizing that there was more to the story. Uh, I apologized for not really considering you know, that while there may be 500 people who appreciate that kind of kindness, there may be a few that don't. Um, when, they, when they're visibly emotional or upset and you're wanting to be comforting and kind to them, uh, all of these things happened in full public view of many people standing around, shooting videos, taking pictures. It wasn't sexual in any way, it wasn't private or sadistic or weird in any way, it was, it was literally meant as an act of kindness. Um, and so then with that, coupled with then telling me the same thing, which again was along the same lines of what had happened to me, then I decided that I should probably speak up if for nothing else because of the statute of limitations passing, at least it would corroborate the other stories so that they would know that they weren't the only ones. And you understand that there are uh, people who have accused you of inappropriate acts that have not disclosed their names. Are you aware of that? Yes. Uh, and, and would you agree with me uh, that you, because they want to maintain their privacy, you would not want those names disclosed publicly? I believe that someone who makes accusations publicly, especially with the intention of of destroying someone's reputation or job at least should be identified. <laughs> I don't believe somebody should have the power to destroy someone and remain safely anonymous. I think you're a pretty good judge of character of people. <laughs> Apparently not. I thought I was. And when did, uh, when did you start to doubt your ability to judge people's character? When people that I have known for many, many years who have treated me publicly, privately, to my face in dozens of settings as friends, and then spent 
the last five months trying to ruin my career and reputation.